Hey folks, welcome to another How To Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to go from general form for a parabola to a vertex form of a parabola on this particular Casio graphics calculator. So, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so normally what happens is that here I have a parabola in the general form, and what I'd like to do is I'd like to write this in the vertex form. Now what you can do is you can factorize this and you know you can complete the square and you can end up with the vertex form. The other option is to actually put this in the graphics calculator and there's a couple of little hacks that you can do where you could actually come up with vertex form fairly quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch on the calculator, go into the main menu and from here what we're going to do is we're going to navigate our way down to this particular menu which is the conics going to press exe and we're simply going to move down and what you'll have is you'll have a whole bunch of um, equations there but the one that we're going to go towards is the y equals ax squared plus bx plus c which pretty much is this format right here which is in the general form so we're going to click on exe and what we're going to do is we're going to substitute the values of a b and c now a is the coefficient of x squared so in this case it's going to be 2, b is the coefficient of x which is minus 12 and c which happens to be 22 which is the constant by itself. Once we click on that what we can do is we can click on draw and here is our graph right now. Now to do the vertex form what we need is the actual vertex point here so that's the point also known as the turning point in this case for the parabola we want to figure out what that point is and the way we're going to do that is by clicking on G-Solve. We're going to click on G-Solve and as you can see there's a button called VTX which is for vertex that's F4. We're going to click on F4 and as you can see it is going to give us the vertex of 3 and 4. So this X value is 3 and the Y value is 4. Now when it comes to writing this particular formula in the vertex form what we're going to do is we're still going to write down y equals 2. Now the a value happens to be the same because that was 2 in the general form which means in the vertex form it will also be 2. So we're going to put down 2. We're going to write down x minus h. Now this particular h value is the x value. So that's why it's coming first. That's the 3. So we're going to write this as x minus 3 squared plus k. The k happens to be the y value of the vertex. Now the reason this is actually known as the vertex form is for the vertex, the vertex is actually written like this hk. And because our value was 3 and 4, sorry this should have been a 4 right here. So the k is 4 and then this value here should be 4 as well. So our vertex form is y equals 2 bracket x minus 3 squared plus 4. I shouldn't have actually put that as a k. That's all right. We make a mistake anyway. Now what we want to do is we want to check whether this is actually the right way of doing this. Well, So what we're going to do is double check this. We're going to go to the table function and we're going to put both of these equations in there. So we've got 2x squared minus 12x plus 22 and in the next line we're going to have 2x minus 3 squared and plus 4. So what we've done is we've actually put both of these equations in tables and we're going to click on table and as you can see those numbers are the same so when x equals negative 5 y is 132 and 132 and let's actually go further down here and you'll notice that the x1 sorry the y1 and the y2 values for both of those equations are the same which is basically telling us that both of these are equal to each other. So what we've really done is gone from general to vertex form just using the conics part of this particular calculator. All right, folks, that is pretty much how you go from general form to vertex form for a parabola on this Casio graphics calculator.